Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Sims 2 Nostalgia. So today we're going to talk about the Roth family in River Blossom Hills. Because is the Roth family really a parallel universe's mirror of the Goth family? Well, there sure are similarities, but does the Roth family not carry an independent storyline? Are they not really just a legacy on their own? Well, I'm going to find out today. So, first of all, let's, let's look into the family name, because Roth obviously rhymes with goth, so there's no doubt about that. But take a look at the origin of the name, because first and foremost, Roth as a surname is seen in both Britain, in Germany, and also among uh, Ashkenazi Jews. So, other variants of the name is, for example, Rothschilds, like the wealthy family with the noble roots. So the name isn't that unusual as you would initially expect. And also, when we look at this family, they do look quite wealthy and they do look quite uh, ambitious. So maybe it's just an abbreviation of uh, Rothschild or Rothschild. So, so we get associations towards the, the rich and wealthy. The second thing after you notice the similarities with the Goth family is the Roth family's own story, because why did they come to town? It's stated that they're new to River Blossom because they came from somewhere else. But it's also stated that they're both originally from River Blossom Hills, um, as indicated by Morty's family tree, um, and the fact that his cousin is in town, but also by Stella's bio, because Stella didn't remember the town being as small as it was. So this is a leave and come back story. They're trying to return to the roots to save this failing marriage. That is at least the first uh, thing that the players might think. Let's first take a look at Morty Roth. So Morty Roth is a family father of this house. And you know, the name even sounds like a nickname for someone called Mortimer. And Morty even looks somewhat like the younger Sims 1 Mortimer Goth, with the black hair, the black beard, and the suit looking clothes. So we definitely have some similarities here that are just, you know, too obvious to, to overlook. Also, uh, Morty Roth, he has a career in the adventurer career tra track, and he works as a relic liberator. So he earns good money, and he's on track to fulfill his aspiration lifetime goal of becoming a space pirate. So, you know, a space pirate. Is that a goth family reference? Hmm, I think so. Um, Morty, he only has three friends and he lacks one to get a promotion, but that might just indicate that they are new in town, contrary to the goth family who are old in town. If we take a look at Morty Roth's memory, memories, they are all happy, which is a bit unusual, because also the memory of his parents dying are green, happy. So either Moti had a really bad relationship with his parents, but also nothing in his memories indicates that. Or yeah, when well, well maybe it could be a mistake, that would make even more uh, sense, because the Sims 2 creators do seem to have become a, a little bit sloppy um, with his memories. So yeah, I think personally that it's most likely a mistake because his memories are generally quite sparse. So he has very little to no memories as a child and a teenager, and the only memories he actually have is meeting Stella and creating that family. If we compare the memories to Mortimer Goth, Mortimer Goth has both positive and ne negative memories, and they're actually quite extensive where only the happy memory of Bella's abduction stands out. And that can be explained by Mortimer's knowledge aspiration. So I don't find that too unusual after all. If we then go take a look at uh, Morty Roth's um, turn-ons and turn-offs, it's a bit weird that he shares the exact same turn-ons and turn-offs as his wife. So they have almost the same uh, turn uh, well, they do have the same turn on and turn offs, and they also almost have the same personality. So they should be a perfect match as a couple if we just take this overall view of them. But if we go into the relationship, um, Morty is not even friends with his children. He do love Stella, 
So maybe he's been away with his job a lot. That could make sense compared to his career track as an adventurer. But the low relationship with the kids is also a bit weird because he, he did uh, teach Sander to uh, be potty trained and to walk. And he also taught Sandra to talk. So Morty was present during their early childhood, at least indicated by the memories. But again, and this could also just be a coincidence, Morty McGoth, for example, is also not friends with his children. So maybe it's just to generally indicate that these men have been away because they've been busy with career and interests. And if we talk about interests, Morty have absolutely no interest in politics, in entertainment, in fashion and in weather. And he have full interests in animals, toys and sci-fi and the paranormal. So Morty's interests do not match uh, Stella God's interests. So this good relationship might not be too perfect on paper anyway. But the funny thing is here yeah, that if we take a look at Mortimer God's interests, he also has no interest in politics, entertainment, fashion and weather, and full interest in animal, toys, sci-fi and the paranormal. So they have the exact same interests, which is not a coincidence, at least to me. So I think that Morty and Mortimer are definitely meant to be compared. Because also, for example, if we see Mortimer Goth's career, he's a retired mad scientist, so he has also reached the top goal in his science uh, career track. So I think it's a way with Morty not having reached the top yet uh, for the player to have a chance to recreate Mortimer. So he could reach the top career-wise and actually become the same person.